Okay, so I totally passed out last night and didn't finish any of the build. So today, hold on. Necessary, but it's definitely become a huge part of my life. I enjoy it and I want to get better at it. By the way, this is our basement that nobody's using yet because our other two roommates aren't here yet. Here's all my parts. And this is where my studio will go. Okay, so this was my, excuse me, this was my original design I muse I made with uh, Google SketchUp here. I don't know if Google still owns it. They might. I like it. It's really clean. I grew up on AutoCAD and Autodesk and this was a quick way without spending a gajillion dollars on getting it. So this was based off of a bunch of ideas I found online. I came together and put this together first. I wanted something elevated in the back for where my iMac would potentially be or my larger screen if I get one. Big surface area for working in not only just with computer stuff but also um, little electronic projects as well, fixing blah blah blah, and then two drawers that would make the base. But what it turned out was these drawers here were going to be $80 a piece by themselves, which was the majority of the cost. Uh, the brackets were pretty expensive at $14 for four pack, and I finally found the countertop in the same color for $35 versus $60. I got that with uh, eliminating the legs. But the cost was still a little bit high for what I wanted to do, so I came out with a version 2. Definitely not as clean looking, but it gives me a lot of weird functionality. I didn't finish this because I couldn't figure out how to make angle brackets, brackets, which I purchased. These are my angle brackets. That will go right here. Uh, this is a bookshelf that goes long way so I can store stuff in this side and use this plane for resting things. A smaller little drawer and still the two towers on top. This will be my room. And this is some little door that, this is a little door that gets in the way. And I'll show you that here in a second. But this is what I'm going to build. So I think the first step would be opening all of this stuff. And that. And all the stuff's over here. I already dropped this piece. I was trying to carry too much of this down the stairs. And I already actually dropped this and bruised the corner here. And actually every corner. So hopefully it still works. I think for the first shelf, I'm gonna go pro on this one. I poked this little hole way too far through. <sighs> Boom! Let me set this aside so you can see. This took way longer than I thought. I didn't even shoot this one. It works. I had about five casualties. You can see one right there, but no one else will see that. Hopefully all, I haven't been measuring, but hopefully everything still works perfectly so it's the right height. I'm gonna build everything first and figure it out. Bookshelf next. And here's all the extra parts. Not too bad though. These pieces I don't need because they're going to go on the bottom where I'm going to actually put a different bracket. So, so on this list, you can't see it, but I was supposed to order one set of two angle packs, two angle brackets, one pack of six inch feet, a four pack, and then, and then I was supposed to order two packs, two four packs of four inch feet, and they sent me two two packs, so I'm missing, so I'm going to have to go back anyways, six, three, five, seven, four, six, three, five, yeah, unless there's two hidden here somewhere, which I doubt. Oh, well, there's four feet. Oh, never mind. Inside there are four. They're just really tiny. We're good. I didn't open the package yet. I just assumed we got four. And actually, actually, these are the most exciting part. This is what really triggered me to build my own disc. Originally I wanted to make like pipes. Okay, Casey Neistat has like a plane and he has giant four pipes to make his desk. I wanted something more 
more custom and a little bit more modular, a little bit bigger. So I wanted pipes going all over the place. And these seem like a good fit for in between. Eventually I'd like to have just pipes everywhere where I could just attach things and it'd be crazy, but these were, well, the angle brackets was really what sold me, because this is cool. So hopefully this works out well. Even though I'm not at this phase yet, I just want to open them up, since I already did. I still have to go back for the light bulbs. Okay, apparently I gotta take a little bit of a break. Moving into a new place is awesome, but there's so many things we have to set up, and it's gonna take a little bit, like for instance, the trash. We came and there were two trash cans there, we're cycling the trash, but, oh, it's not focusing right, but, Hopefully I get a new lens soon. But anyways, it looks like someone picked up the recycling but not the trash. And I'm pretty sure the company we go through is a different one. I don't know. I'm going to try calling them here. Okay, I decided not to call. Uh, they had a live chat thing and it's easier. I'm trying to figure out what's going on though still. What's asleep? This one should be easier. So far, and everything seems to be right, that I will have to add these leg extensions to this board along with this 3 fourths inch piece that I just got as a shelving unit to add a little bit more. I want—I just got it from there because the color match. As soon as I add these feet and add them to appropriate length, it should be, or height, excuse me, it should be as tall as this is standing. We'll see here. <laughs> I got them in place. I have them all level. I know this kind of looks weird, but it makes it so that these two are the same height here. Now we gotta add the top piece. So I used the angle bracket against the wall to see how high they are. It's just an estimate, but I mean, they shouldn't be too far off. Okay, one of my favorite parts of these angle brackets, so I'm now I'm trying to decide, should they go this way, should they go this way, this way? I think I'm gonna put them this way so it comes outward on this table, and maybe the other one coming in so I don't have to make this longer. I can go out this way, and it could give me more seating room right here too, because it's going outward. So I totally put the legs in wrong here. Um, the length of this is 19, the length of this is 20 something. So I flip it over, the legs go in, so I have to bring these in halfway each. Oops. Move the chair, what do you think? I messed up on the bracket over there, I'm gonna leave it for now. Everything's kind of sound, so I'm gonna put the last table up and see what happens. Tray. I might have to get four feet brackets. I think at this point I'm just gonna leave it and see how well a standing desk is. 
So I haven't done that yet. We're gonna try it out. If not, I'll get the four foot brackets, whatever, to make it shorter. I don't like on the plastic. Does the plastic get the food then? I melt the container. Well, it's gonna be melted, but. Okay. The desk build is going interesting. I am taking a break. Mad guy here. We're going to eat, and then we're going to Walmart. And then maybe I'll finish the desk. Probably not. Probably not. Finally got the giant box out. So Trent found these drinks at the Korean Mart, and honestly, they look creepy and cool. Check this. So we're gonna try this out. There's plenty of different flavors, but I figured pomegranate would be the easiest one to start with. 6500 black instead of here. Alrighty, I'm gonna open this up. Actually, this is terrible lighting. What do you want me? I'm opening the red thingy. That ju- that... Okay. Do I shake it? What does it say? Honeybee basil seed drink with pomegranate. Pomegranate flavored. Huh, it's like juju balls. It's like when you go get boba tea and they get little tapioca balls that are like... A centimeter. Yeah. It's Ooh. interesting. Yeah. That's some kind of fruity snack that I've had before. Just plug your nose the, and drink it. The pomegranate. Why do you plug your nose for? It's good. It's got the basil flavor <laughs> in the pomegranate. <laughs> Talking shit over there? <laughs> I will have a lot more weird Asian drinks in this vlog now that I have a Korean Mart. Ten minutes that way. <laughs> <laughs> 